Thank you for watching. This tech talk is going to be about proposing a somewhat efficient, sort of scalable, implementable infrastructure called Hyper Extended 5D Hyper Extended 5D Brainfuck with Multiverse Time Travel with Multiverse Time Travel. So, why are we doing this? What do we want to achieve? Um, we want to implement an as slow as possible infrastructure with uh, realistic space and memory constraints. The program must be theoretically runnable on consumer technology. It's easy to think of things like Rayo's or Graham's number um, because they're very big and obviously make things very large, but they're very impractical because it's hard to uh, It's hard, uh, hard to uh, uh, implement these numbers because we don't have the space to implement them. So we're starting with extended 5D brainfuck with multiverse time travel. Start with 5D brain, brain, brainfuck with multiverse time travel, 5D BFWMTT, or as I would like to, that's what, uh, that's what I would like to call it. Um, we disregard time travel as it would only speed up the process. However, one may use the time travel in a written code. So the next step is to transform all operators into 10 gigabytes of size by just repeating all operators. And you insert this into a, uh, into a local database, preferably something by Oracle. And then you call for every instruction. So you stream the operators into your uh, application. Afterwards, you... Uh, you error check every instruction and restart if corrupted in uh, 5dbf wmtt. Then you compress the operator back down into one character again. Also, um, you implement a web browser in 5dbf wmtt that executes the 5dbf wmtt instructions while also concurrently loading a regular news website that is riddled with, with ads and unnecessary JavaScript. <coughs> So um, for every 5dbfwmtt instruction, uh, create a new universe, exec execute the next step, and error check the other universe. You do this sequentially, and between each iteration, you wait 292 billion, 277 million, 26,596 years, which corresponds to the Unix timestamp of 64 bits. We do not want to use a too, uh, too large number because we don't want to store it and the next steps will make this number obsolete anyway. And we now have extended 5D brainfuck with uh, multiverse, multiverse time travel. Uh, and the abbreviation is E5DBFWMTT. <coughs> uh, the next step is hyper extended 5D brainfuck with multiverse time travel. So. We, you saw the title in the beginning, we're iteratively adding steps in order to uh, get, get further and get a more complex system. Um, so you start with writing a lightweight VM with E5D BFWMTT, which you can also call E5D BFWMTT VM to execute the one that code. For example, print, uh, please subscribe. Also, please subscribe, I need subscribers. The, E5DBFWMTT VM ensures that time is dilated by execute 292 billion, 277 million, 26,000, um, 596 sleep calls between every instruction. And then we create a simulation loop of size X, uh, which means that a E5DBFWMTT VM hosts a E5DBFWMTT VM hosting a E5DBFWMTTVM and, and so on and so on. And the number X is defined as the minimum number of VMs necessary to force the OS to use swap space because if you're in swap, things will obviously go slower. Uh, whenever a VM has executed a single instruction. The working memory is copied to disk in order to maintain stability with E5DBF WMTT. Another simulation loop is used to complete this, but it doesn't need that requirement of copying the working memory. Otherwise, you would run out of disk space and you would have uh, inf 
yeah, an infant loop, you, you wouldn't want that. Furthermore, human checking the state for errors is recommended. If a failure is detected, the simulation loop will restart the entire program. Uh, also note on this time scale, it's somewhat improbable to not have a failure before the first top level VM has completed this first instructions. So now we have hyper extended 5T brain fuck with model first time travel or HE5 DBF WMTT. <laughs> Next up is 5D hyper extended 5D brain fuck with multi first time travel with multi first time travel time travel using HE5 DBF WNTT implement a very light universe simulation with time travel. And then the next step is to dilate the time as far as you can. Uh, we're using a number of stonks, where stonks is around a number of at least one gigabytes in size. Your mileage may vary if your PC can handle more than that. If you have like terabytes of RAM, go ahead. But the idea is to have, have a huge, huge, huge number. Also make sure that the number can be reused in memory throughout the VMs to prevent memory explosion. Um, then assume an extremely efficient model is used because, uh, because you also have some memory constraints. And we can then devise an extended simulation loop about five simulated universes, maybe, I don't know, it depends on how the model was implemented, constructed similarly to the E5 DBF WMTT VMs. We now have uh, 5D hyper extended 5D brain fuck with multiverse time travel with multiverse time travel, 5D HD 5DBF WMTT WMTT. Um, the next step is extended 5D hyper extended 5D brain fuck with multiverse time travel with multiverse time travel. Uh, we're gonna create a computer cluster uh, Kubernetes, for instance, and run the program on each machine sequentially using a different random seed. And we use each machine for error checking the others. In case of failure, we retrace every step using time travel to go back to the start. Uh, also, consensus algorithms must be conceptualized by Brexiteers. We now have extended 5D, hyper extended 5D brain fuck with multiverse time travel with multiverse time travel. Just checking if my stream is all right. Yes, everything. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, everything's all right. Um, next up. And the last step um, is hyper extended 5D, hyper extended 5D brain fuck with multiverse time travel with multiverse time travel. And that is install the inevitable Node.js package that someone has already set up for you. So um, following these steps, you will get a pretty um, decent uh, runtime on your uh, application. Uh, it also means that uh, you will spend a lot of time computing, which is the point, obviously. And um, I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, or uh, if I'm uh, if I'm looking at the chat there, there aren't any questions, so um, I guess I'm just gonna stop here. Also, uh, please subscribe.